Okay, now let's discuss about the action of a transistor. To discuss the action of a transistor, we will consider the NPN transistor and PNP transistors separately. First of all, let's consider an NPN transistor which is connected as shown in the first diagram like this. Now, here VEB represents the uh, base emitter voltage which forward by us is the base emitter PN junction and the VCB is the collector base voltage which reverse by us is the collector base PN junction. The emitter current is represented by IE, the base current is represented by IB and the collector current is represented by IC. Now let's see the working of uh, this transistor. The VEB, the voltage which appear applied across the base emitter forward by us is the emitter junction. So the since electrons are the majority carriers in the emitter, they will move towards the PN junction and the crosses the potential barrier and reaches the base junction. The electrons which emitted by the emitter reaching on the base will have a chance to recombine with the holes in the base region and constitute the base current. Since only 5% of the electrons emitted by the emitter gets a chance to recombine with the holes in the base to constitute the base current, the base current is very small. And the most of the electrons emitted by the emitter or supplied by the emitter passing through the base to the collector region and uh, this will constitute the collector current IC. And remember that uh, the during the this one base collector region is reverse biased the electrons in the collector region will not cross the PN junction towards the base but the electrons supplied by the emitter which passes through the base region reaching the collector will constitute the collector current. So we can say that uh, since electrons are moving towards the emitter region we can say that the direction of the emitter current is away from the emitter to the external circuit and the holes are recombining with uh, the electrons in the base region so the holes are supplying to it so we can say that the direction of the base current is towards the base region and the electrons which are reaching in the collector region from the emitter is a continuous path to the external circuit that is to the power supply VCB. So the electrons will flow from the collector to the external part. So the direction of the current IC will be towards the collector region so the collector current flowing inward so here the directions of IE IB IC are IE is flowing out that is away from the emitter and uh, directions of base current and collector current are towards their respective regions that is towards the base and towards the collector now we can say that uh, the collector emitter current IE will be equal to the base current a part of this em electrons supplied by the emitter which actually gives rise to the emitter current is, uh, co is constituting a part of the base current or constituting the base current and which is only a 5 percentage of the emit current so it is equal to IB plus the remaining electrons that is uh, the
the electrons which are not able to recombine with the holes in the base region will continue their journey towards the collector and which constitute the collector current so the emitter current can be represented as the sum of the base current and the collector current and here remember that the base current is only 5 percentage and uh, the collector current will be almost 95 percentage of the emitter current in practical cases uh, most of the cases we can approximate this ie is approximately equal to ic but the actual expression is ie is equal to ib plus ic this is the case of a uh, NPN transistor. Now look into the PNP transistor. Here the base is a N region, so the majority carriers are in the base region are the electrons, but the emitter and collector are P region, so the majority carriers in these two regions are holes. Now let's see their working. Here VEB forward biases the emitter base junction and VCB reverse biases the collector base junction. Now it seems the positive terminal of VEB the voltage source at the input is connected to the emitter region. The holes in the emitter region are pushed towards the base region or they will move towards the base region and uh, in the base region some of these holes will recombine with the electrons in the base region and which constitute a base current and the remaining holes which are failed to recombine with the electrons in the base region will continue their movement towards the collector region and uh, these holes from the collector region will flow towards the external circuit as shown by these arrows. So that uh, we can say that this P region the direction of the collector current is outward the direction of the base current is also outward but the direction of the emitter current is towards the emitter. So now, we can, again we can see that the base is a very thin region and uh, it is slightly docked. Only 5% of the holes supplied by the emitter will be recombined with the electrons in the base region to constitute the base current and the 95 percentage of the holes will continue their journey towards the collector region to constitute the collector current. So again we can say that uh, the collector current and base current are constituted by the emitter current so that uh, we can represent it like this i e is again is equal to i b plus i c so remember this expression for a transistor so this is the equation for a transistor action that is the emitter current is responsible for the base current and uh, collector current. <clears throat>